Good evening, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Um, this is, a, I suppose we'll call this a Monday night groovy session. And uh, what we have here is we've got a drawing, um, the drawing's been sent through. Uh, on this hydraulic arrangement, they want me to cut a groove from that little, that orifice there across to that flat section. And, uh, and that, if we look at the detail, hopefully it'll be all right, it's going to be bulldozed, um, 70 thou deep, and um, it needs to be 0.315 uh, from the center of that hole, um, which lines up here. Now, we've, I've already lined it up, set it up, and I've started to groove that and I'm using a 1 8 ball nose, which is what they've called, they've called for either a 1 inch, uh, sorry, 1 8 ball nose, uh, as they're showing here, 0.125, or 3 millimeter, that's fine. So I've started to groove that, and uh, we're going to carry on and do that shortly. And we've had uh, another job finished, uh, almost finished this evening. Um, and that I spoke about it the other day. These are these diamond drills. Um, the diamond, the diamond drill that I make an extension for. So I do, what I do is I cut the diamond drill off here and at the shank, uh, machine a bore through the, the correct uh, uh, clearance that I need for the bolt, for the hole right, so I get the hole right through, um, and then uh, counter bore in and set these up in the lathe, uh, just press them in a little bit, uh, set them up in the lathe to make sure that they're running through and then silver solder them with uh, a high quantity of silver solder. This one still has to be finished. Um, and the idea of these are that they, this is an idea I come up with, to be able to drill the gypsum or um, hypersaline um, salt that it's built up around these bolts. Uh, these bolts are stud and they hold a housing and there's a second housing on top of them and they can't remove these because the gypsum builds up and locks them up. So this drill um, drills down and drills out a cavity through using the diamond drill a cavity so then they, um, these two sections can be part of the oil housing and the cap can be parted. So I've made up four of those uh, as per request. Uh, this is now a new model with a, a drill end on it rather than a socket so that they uh, don't destroy them quicker, so, as quickly. So we're off, we're off and running. We're continuing now. Uh, I'm running at about uh, 3,000 RPM um, and taking about, taking about 10,000 or so at a time. Good check to see that the uh, ball though there's no way of feeling so the only way I know that I'm going well and the ball nose isn't worn is uh, by coming back going one way and coming back again and if it's not taking any shavings sign that it's it's done its job. So we're going down to Another, another uh, 10 thou, and I'm using air to evacuate all the chips. Another 10 thou.
haven't got much more till I'm going to bottom out and I reckon I've got probably another five to ten thou and I'll be on that bottom and that should equate to uh, the correct depth. say that we're so close to touching the bottom here that um, the job's done. So our groovy evening comes to an end. Yeah, we just, just marked where it's come through here. Just slightly marked. Um, I'll have a look and see if I can get the camera down off there and just show you before I close the camera down. Let's just uh, see if we can see that groove that I've produced here. No, it comes out of focus, unfortunately. So, but that's, that's what we've done. We've, made, we've cut that groove through and uh, job is done.